Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, so it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I've been, I've moved to uni a few weeks ago. Um, I think James is doing, still doing videos to keep the channel going. Um, but yeah, it's been a while since I've done a video. I've moved to uni, but I've come home for the weekend. So I thought I'd just quickly do a nice little video to show my Elvis collection. Um, because it's grown in size quite a bit since I did the last video um, on my Elvis collection, which was... I want to say in January 2021, so it's been nearly two years. Uh, so I've got sort of three stacks here. Um, the space there was full of Elvis records, and then the space over there was also full of Elvis records. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into it right now. This is quite a lot to get through. <clears throat> uh, so this first one is obviously the first album, Elvis Presley. It's a 60s German copy. Um, decent cover, but a very nice vinyl. Um, this is the UK 70s reissue of what the UK track listing was for the original HMV release. Um, so it's got a really good track listing on it. Better than the original, I think, because it's got more rock and roll songs. Um, this is Memphis Recording Service, Nashville Recording Sessions, 56. Very, very nice mono copy um, of the 1962 mono release of his second album. Really nice condition. Really, really nice mono US original on oh no, a second pressing of Loving You. Uh, the original Christmas album, uh, Lot 1035. Um, I paid a decent price for this and I think the cover is pretty good shape and the vinyl plays very nicely. This is the Camden uh, Christmas album. Uh, I probably will try and get an upgrade for this at some point because the, um, the vinyl is probably could do with an upgrade. This is an original US mono pressing of Elvis's Golden Records Volume 1. I've had this for a long time, been played many times, great listen. Uh, this is the 70s UK reissue of his UK, of the UK track listing of Golden Records Volume 1. Very nice shape, but um, not very good sounding because it's uh, electronically reprocessed stereo. This is a nice Red Spot 60s mono copy of King Creole, really nice, um, really nice sounding album. And this is the original US mono version of for LP fans only. Very nice. Uh, played that many times. Date with Elvis, original UK monocopy. Probably would try and get an upgrade for this at some point. <clears throat> On the Silver Spot label. Uh, this is the stereo reissue from the 60s US version. Doesn't sound too great, but still nice to have. Uh, this is a really, really nice monocopy of Golden Records Volume 2, um, original UK monocopy, really nice, like one of the one of the nicest condition old vinyls I have. Um, this is a pretty worn out version of Elvis's back, original UK mono, um, but decent listen. This is a 70s UK reissue, um, and I want to get a better stereo copy and a better mono copy, because this is one of my favourite Elvis albums. This is a pretty decent copy of uh, GI Blues, uh, mono UK. Very nice Mono UK, His Hand in Mine, on the Silver Spot label. Uh, this is a 70s issue of Something for Everybody, stereo, very nice sounding record. 70s issue of Blue Hawaii, would like to get a nice mono copy of this. Uh, really, really lovely original Mono UK copy of Potluck, really lovely uh, copy is that. Uh, RCA International 80s issue, like on the uh, German black label. This is the Memphis Recording Service Essential 60s Masters, which is a really fantastic album, full of great songs. Uh, girls, 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 US monocopy. Cover showing its age a little bit, but um, the vinyl plays quite nicely. Beautiful monocopy, uh, UK monocopy of Girls, Girls, Girls. Only paid about 10 quid for it as well on eBay. Really lovely. And then it's the FTD. Everybody loves the FTDs uh, with the bonus card from the Elvis shop of London. And then <clears throat> moving on to the next one, I got this one this week actually. This is a 70s US reissue of it happened at the World's Fair. Very nice shape, plays quite nicely. Very beat up, well, not very beat up, but pretty well worn. Golden Records Volume 3, the US mono. Need to get an upgrade for that one. Um, Elvis Sings Memphis Tennessee FTD. That's a fantastic album right there. I've played that many times. Roustabout mono. Uh, probably could do with an upgrade for this, but it does play quite nicely. FTD, I got this when the prices were cut by quite a bit on the Elvis Shop of London website. And I'm glad I bought it because um, it's gone back up to about 120 quid. Nice 
copy of a uh, mono copy of kissing cousins i'm surprised i have this and i don't have the comeback special um but yeah it's just one of those things i guess uh tickle me ftd very nice spin out us stereo with the bonus photo so in a decent shape uh this is quite a nice copy of uh, california holiday uk version of spin out um the cover is really nice the only problem is it's just uh somebody wrote their name on the back around there but it's fine um rca international green label california holiday really nice really lovely cover of how great they are original stereo us but the vinyl must have been played by a dodgy stylist unfortunately still a fantastic album easy come easy go ftd really nice cover elvis golden records volume 4 uk 70s issue original speedway us um with the bonus photo really nice uh elvis the last movies ftd that's all the ftds i have um and here we have one of his best albums from elvis in memphis original us pressing in the shrink however vinyl i think has been played by a dodgy stylist yet again which is really unfortunate but uh oh well actually no this is the music on vinyl version i've got the sealed version up there i forgot to bring it down it's not sealed it's in the shrink sorry i meant to say it in the shrink uh, but this is a music on vinyl version i play this many times um very nice sounding album really lovely uk copy of uh, from memphis to vegas really really fantastic condition almost in love uk one of the best elvis covers i love that cover let's be friends uk on stage uk cover with a us vinyl interesting combination that's the way it is original uk very fantastic album another fantastic album original uk elvis country uh, yeah, I always think it's from his movies, but this, this is actually, funnily enough, in pretty much near mint condition, and I got it from the charity shop. Uh, recorded live on stage, Madison Square Garden, got this one a few months ago. Really lovely UK version of Elvis now, like that is just a mint copy. Elvis is uh, back in Nashville. I did have from Elvis in Nashville, uh, but I took it back because it was warped, unfortunately. But yeah, uh, really good, listen. Double Dynamite, Aloha from Hawaii, need to get an upgrade for that. And uh, the US Mail from the Leeds Record Fair. Forgot for about a quid. <clears throat> and then this is a beautiful uh, stereo copy. Uh, obviously, obviously in stereo, but a uh, beautiful UK copy of Promised Land. Really, like, mint copy. Another, like, a mint copy of today. Really lovely. Uh, music on vinyl version from Elvis Presley Boulevard, Memphis, Tennessee. On blue vinyl. Really lovely record. Uh, this is the Sun Collection, great album, but I've only listened to it once. Moody Blue, the last album, originally, well, original UK, uh, decent copy. Then all these, I'm not too sure if they're 100% in the correct order, but they're all post-death releases. So Legendary Performer Volume 3, um, so I'm missing three other volumes. Pictures of Elvis, all lots of movie songs. Uh, Return to Sender, I got this for a pound. And it came with the poster, and it's in pretty nice shape, so very happy to have that one. Are You Lonesome Tonight, very cool cover. It's Elvis Sings Libra and Stola, a great album of great songs. Great collection of gospel songs, inspirations. Uh, this is a fantastic album. This is lots of his 50s songs with um, instrumental overdubs re-recorded. Sounds really good. Some songs sound better than others, but fantastic album overall. Another fantastic album, Essential Elvis. Volume 1, Volume 3, and Missing Volume 2, but both fantastic albums, great outtakes. Elvis, number one hits, very important album, it was the first one I got of Elvis on vinyl. Elvis Aaron Presley box set, fantastic set, and then a really beat up His Best Years 12 LP box set. So that's my uh, Elvis collection as it stands right now in October 2022. Um, so let me know what your thoughts are, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.